Hey everyone, this is Dawn with My Crypto Playground. Thanks for joining me on my channel. Today I'm doing a quick video on a scam token that I found in my block explorer on Flare Network. And I was making sure that an NFT transfer, actually multiple NFT transfers went through because I didn't see it on Sparkles, but it did go through and I found something interesting. Before I get started, let you guys know, None of this is financial advice. I'm not showing you or I'm not telling you what to do with your money. I'm just showing you what I'm doing with mine. And if you like this kind of content, like this video and follow me on YouTube, I wouldn't really love that. Let's go ahead and get started over here. So here I am on the Block Explorer on Flare Network. And as you can see here, this is my, yeah, this is my address right here. and. I was looking through my tokens and I wanted to make sure that my super bad monster were able to be transferred from one address to this one. And it did. So I just started looking, I have, it says I have 10 tokens on here and I don't really get on the block explorer that much. I need to be better versed in this moving forward. But in the meantime, I was just scrolling through here and then I see, okay, I've got some cootie cash from Cootie Finance, that's legit right there. And then I see this Flare NFT credits from flareseed.network. I actually tried to go to that site, flareseed.network, but that site can't be reached. But yeah, and I know that a lot of these scam tokens will give you a website for you to go to. And so this next one right here, it's called gither.org and it has, it's the Flare DAO token. And I've been airdrop 14,000 plus of these. So I was just curious and I wanted to see what gither.org was. And if you go over here, actually, let me kind of went ahead there. This it was, this is where it takes you now. It looks seriously legit right here. It's okay. This looks pretty cool. Connect everything powered by Flare Network. I'm like, oh, that's legit. They have a connect wallet and a dashboard. So I just wanted to click on dashboard. And then you can see here, it's got some really, it said looks pretty, um, pretty uh, real a DeFi dashboard. And so the first thing it asks you is it doesn't ask you to connect to your wallet and this should be your number one biggest red flag is any website that asks you for your seed phrase it is a scam website run away don't even go back to that website because yeah they're just there to take your money and so what i've actually done is and i've always been curious about this so i started a brand new wallet for just to play around with this because I was really curious to see what actually happens. So I started this thing called my scam wallet. Yeah, you can't really see it right there. It's, a, it's my scam wallet and I put three flare in it. And for those of you guys that are wondering, this is just a brand new wallet on a, on a browser that I don't ever really use. And I was just curious to see what happens. And I just wanted to show you guys what happens. So let's go over here. I have my, got my seed phrase here that I took a picture of for this brand new wallet. So let's just, let's see, let's see if we can go on here and then let's type it in and see what happens. All right, expect heavy taxi. Desserts, and this one has three flare in it. Release, union, give, enrich, hope, gates. Okay, so I put those, my seed phrases in there. And you know what, most likely, like I said, I've never done this before. But what's pretty much going to happen, I assume that nothing is going to happen. It won't connect, but, and then I will keep you guys informed and let you know what happens to that three flare that I have in this wallet. Like I said, this is a totally brand new wallet. 
I'm burning this or I'm never using this again, but I just wanted to use it just to try out and see what happens when you enter in your seed phrase in these kinds of websites. So let's hit connect. And it just tells you, look at that invalid seed phrase. So yeah, that was it. So that's what happens. Now, what you've actually done is you've inputted that seed phrase and I'm curious to see what happens. Let's see, let's get out of this. Let's go back to the, let's go back and yeah, I'm curious to see what happens to my flare. These three flare once, I don't know, maybe in a few days or maybe in a few hours that will disappear. So I'll keep you guys posted on it. But like I said, if you guys see anything like this, let's go back to our block explorer here. If you see anything that's been airdropped to you that you're not familiar with, like this flare NFT credits or gither.org, like anything that has a URL or a domain a website, do not go to it. I wish there was an easy way to just get rid of these these tokens that get airdropped to us because I just don't want it anywhere in my wallet. I don't want to associate with it, but I don't know, maybe sometime down the line they can figure that out. But till then, you guys stay safe out there and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.